Hello everyone, welcome to Anime Amigos, the um, podcast... Cal, where... stop laughing! The so podcast... unprofessional! <laughs> the podcast where we did so many bloopers before this that I'm now kind of to compose myself. Yep, we've been I'm here Calvin... four hours. I'm Calvin Atkinson, the Pokemon punk. I'm Reese the Gundam Guru. I'm Ren the Jojo Genius. <laughs> I'm here the Vanguard Vagrant. And big news everyone, we have our first ever sponsor! Yeah, not again. We have a, we have a first sponsor. Seven years and three restraining orders and one lion attack later. Long story. We ha- finally have our first sponsor. It's a new company from a very independent person who we love very much but have not met. Timothy's Crispy Nuts. That's right, Timothy's Crispy Nuts. Nuts from our friend named Tim. Apparently these are going by really fast. I bought one box and then it was immediately sold out. So you know what? When it's back in, when it's back, when it's back in stock, you better get it quickly. Also, use the link in the description below and use and use the code Vanguard Vagrant at checkout to receive your free to receive 15% of your first box of box of Timothy's crispy nuts. Timothy's crispy nuts. The nuts from Tim. Seriously, I'm surprised if they went they were sold out so quickly. I don't know why. I mean, it's just nuts, right? Timothy, I will be canceling out our sponsorship to you. I will not be sending this. Hashtag parody, hashtag you smashed up my face. Did you ha- I just one question, did you have to deep fry the pubes as well? C- can I just ask, is, is Tim still fully intact after this sale? <laughs> can I also ask... Um, he, w- he was a lot quieter during yeah. the voice call. Can I also ask... Blood. Can I also ask... Yeah, apparent, apparently his cat okay. Apparently his cat will not <laughs> stop licking him. Is, can I just ask, did you, is that bought for a pregnancy test? No, it's Timothy's crispy nuts. <laughs> No uh, see, it's Timothy's crispy nuts. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, eat them, Cal. Mmm, <laughs> nuts from Tim. Mm. Poor Tim. Speaking, of, speaking of um. <laughs> Hello, Pablo. Pablo. Is he allowed in? Oh, what? Oh, of course he is. Oh, come on then, Pablo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I got to say before before he goes t- chucked out. <laughs> we own everyone so three, come two. Oh, oh, we didn't get, no, oh, Sam, we didn't get a Pablo cam. <laughs> Sad. So now that we've been interrupted by a Chihuahua. Speaking of, we, uh, Ponchi. Ponchi, you. you dick, uh, asshole. Don't, don't, don't misbreed him. Cunt. Slag. <laughs> you're, all, <laughs> you're all turds. Um, we'll, let's talk Golden Camry Netflix. Mm, Woo! Yeah. So we're all big Golden Camry fans, I'd say. Yes. We are. We really like it. I've not watched the latest stuff though, apart from this one. And I've just hurt myself getting out to, to get Pablo. Wow, well, you, you're going to age, Cal. Apparently, the manga has either ended or is currently reaching its end. Mm. Hang on a sec, I'll just go to the internet long, for long this running, information. Like, what, like five yeah. years, six years? It's, it was, um, I think the manga is like 30 volumes. Damn. Ooh. Yeah. So, Cal, what is that on your, on your search? You have no idea. I, I was just Cal, like, stop looking at porn at work. <laughs> you have no idea. Not some me. Of, some <laughs> of the weird fi- Some of the weird shit that shows up on anime lists. Yes. When you're looking anime up what's coming. Yeah. That uh, is the anime, see. not the manga. Let me see. Where, well, it's a quick way to get to the manga. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's currently... Uh, it's, fi- it's, oh, it's finished. It is finished, yes. Oh, okay. 31, yeah, that's right. 31 volumes and 314 chapters. Oh, so eight years, the, the run time. Uh, 2014 to 2022. 2022, yeah. yeah so, well. so it wrapped up two years ago. So... Yeah. I mean, that's a good time to start working on a Netflix um, mm. adaptation. Because if you want to do a series, for example... Uh, what do we call? Then you want a timeline of how you're going to adapt things. And let, yeah. I think the thing we need to get out of the way is we don't need to do a plot synopsis for this thing because it's basically the manga storyline. They make a few yeah. changes here and there, but it's yeah. pretty much. Yeah. It is basically the whole thing of the go. Um, I just like to know what Golden Camry. I'm so happy like it's done really well because I'm mm. um, like I think it was when it came out 2018. It was an anime that I th- we thought would go a bit under the radar. It's yeah. had four seasons. Yeah, so totally. yeah. four seasons and now a Netflix movie. Yeah. Uh, and it's that popular in Japan, it's had crossovers with Spider-Man. Has it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn! I'm imagining 1900s Russo-Japanese War era uh, Spider-Man. That's, that's it. Nope, the uh, modern age. How does that happen? Popularity. Okay. So let's... Um, I think we can agree, though. It, I don't think when we were talking what would get the next Netflix adaptation we'd be talking about, we were thinking Golden Camway. No. No, yeah, not really. No. Well, what were you... I was... I was actually thinking it would more likely be something like Violet Evergarden that Netflix would say, "Can you do this?" Mm, I, I would have thought they would work their way continually through more classic shows, like, for example, the Sailor Moon live action. I thought the, the, the Sailor Moon, Moon live action gets thrown through so many um, production chains now. Yeah. It has also technically happened in the past and it flopped. Oh, I really? mean, really badly. I mean, I think the one we were kind of waiting, we were expecting to be talking about next is Yu Yu Hakusho. 
Oh yeah, that's happening, isn't it? Wow, that's so fun! Yeah. I love that, that's so cool. Ah, and it's all official. Hell yeah. So, who is... That's cool. The... So, I'll, I'll get straight to the point. Reese, what did you think of it? I thought it was a decent adaptation. The, the only thing I landed down is I wasn't as expressive as was what we see in the anime of all the faces and everything. Mm. But overall... That's where you get with Dio's live action, though. Yeah. yeah. I think it is a very low adaptation, and I kind of love it for it. Yeah, I thought it was excellent. I was really impressed. It, it put me in a bit of a quandary, actually, this adaptation, because it was like, yeah, this is very, it's very respectful to the, to the source material. It's a very good adaptation. But the problem is, because it's such a good adaptation, I kind of wonder why it needs to exist, because we already have a very good adaptation out there. It's called the anime. Mm -hmm. It's always a sense of... It also it runs into the problem you run when you're making a live-action anime, which is... If you want to replicate those designs, you have to do it in a way that means it doesn't look fucking ridiculous when it gets yeah. brought to life. Particularly the guy with the plate in his head. That was one where I was like, okay, Oh, I'm him, sure. yeah. That, I've, I've got, I like him. Yeah, I've got to disagree with you. I thought, I yeah, thought I, the... Like, the look at the characters, the costume design, how just everything looks so accurate. Yeah. Excellent. Like, yeah, like, yeah, because yeah, so well. he, he, he tell a lot of money and love went into his production. Definitely. Yeah, like, it's... It's very much a one piece live action situation. Like, yeah. everyone, you can tell people who worked on this love the original manga. Yeah, a spe uh, I will say they also did a good job again getting actors who can do the Ainu language. Yes. Yeah, well, we, we say that, but the subtitles could be just fooling us completely. And also, I have no idea what Ainu, good Ainu pronunciation exactly. sounds like. Do you know do, uh, do, and, uh, People have done that sort of thing. Um, you know um, Nelson Mandela's memorial service? Yes. They have a, they have a sign interpreter up there, mm. and he, he couldn't do it. Oh, really? Yeah, that was a, that was a big controversy. He was completely faking it. Yeah, yeah. He, he did, he, he, and he was out of, uh, he, uh, um, yeah, he was faking it the entire time. No, I don't. So that's first time you've seen. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. You really. might, you might as well just, you might as well have just done Naruto Jutsu signs at that point. Yeah, yeah. It reminds you know me of that Catherine Tate sketch where she's asking to be an interpreter for multiple different languages, and she can't do any of them. No, it, 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 it reminds, it reminds me of, um, I, if I had to say, say, give another comparison, IT crowd where. Jen and that is uh, talking to like I think some Italian people yes. pretending to be yeah, Italian, yeah, yeah. and yeah. she's just saying gibberish. You're just like, what the fuck is she yeah. saying? Yeah. Do you know what? It's amazing. He actually said um, after he got caught, he had schizophrenia, and then the, the, the schizophrenic society had to say, no, it's not. No, you don't, because you've been caught out doing this yeah. before. And he turned out he had done the. He thing. basically pled insanity, right? Yeah, he basically yeah. did. Yeah, so I, I'll say actually, in terms of the looks of the characters, I mm. think they got down. Uh, Sarumi was always going to be a hard one to translate to live action. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And they do a very good job with his one. Especially I will say as well, the gore in this was a bit... Tame? Uh, no, I was going to say, it was weird. It's because they didn't have enough of an effects budget to make it really big. They somehow made it even gorier. Like the moment mm. where the guy gets his face thrown off by a bear. But, yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, that <laughs> But that effect was so bad, I ended up laughing. <laughs> I don't, because the way the skin just flopped. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. that is so fake, and yet somehow I made it even gorier by the fact the yeah, effect yeah, was yeah. so fake. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure on how they would like make Shiraishi look in this one, but I think they did a pretty good job oh, with it. I loved his actor. I thought oh, he was really embodied. All, all the actors were... And um, all the actors were amazing. Like whoever got Sugimoto nailed him perfectly. Yes, totally. yes. like, Sugimoto is definitely the character comes out the most unchanged. I, from, thought, yeah. I thought um, Hijikata Toshizo was was an excellent casting role. As well. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I, 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 so again, again, did a very good job getting the wig to look like him. Yes. Well, over that, they picked an actor who really doesn't look like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, Aspira, a very good young actress in that role. Aspira. Yes. Aspira, sorry. Aspira. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know what age a sip is meant to be in the anime, but she looks kind of uh, like. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah, not hang on. I don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she has been aged. At the risk, has she? At yeah. the, I don't. At the risk of getting spoilers for the manga, I'll look up the wiki. Okay, right. <laughs> um, no, I, I agree with you. She was a, she was a fantastic. Um, Fantastic act, uh, actor in the role as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm very concerned that when you type in a surfer, the first thing that comes up on Predictor Test is a surfer age. Uh, well, I mean, it's just, just people curious, see, I think. Let me see. People doing their due diligence. Mm. Uh, she's um. uh, 12 at the start of the manga. Oh. She's 12 at the start of the manga. She turns 13 partway through it. Right, okay. okay. Yeah, so and she's definitely... uh, by the end of the manga, I'm assuming the final chapter where they do a flash forward. Oh, do, or something. Don't, don't tell me if this yeah. is a time scale. Um, but yeah, like okay, well, that, that makes sense. Yeah, so she's yeah. So, yeah so I think she's been aged up a little yeah, bit for the yeah. uh, for the live action because I'm yeah. fairly sure that is not a twelve year old actress. <laughs> no, it seems yeah. as if it's kind of younger daughter. Well, well, so. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. For yeah, that, no, I think yeah, I, I think so. for adaptation purposes that was a smart change. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I also yeah. say I'd just like to know as well the child who got who the child actor who they got to play young Asipa when 
Katar, Katar goes away. Holy shit, she does such a good job. Yeah, she okay. is amazing at... Can oh, I, God damn, she's going places. Can I say um, one thing I think the adaptation did better? Feel free to disagree on this one. I think it did better actually asserting how much the Ainu got screwed over. Mm. I feel mm. like they're just like a cliff note in the anime at times, but where in this one it's like, no, this is a people that were royally screwed over by... I think yeah. they put a bit more emphasis in this one, I would yeah. Yeah. say. But I also think that was at the cost of, they didn't put as much emphasis on the food. No, no, I thought no, they, they, they there was said, a lot of food. Honestly, I'm happy they still threw in the food yeah. bit. Yeah. Especially like her, um, Asipa, Asipa's reaction to miso. Yes, yeah. especially at the end that. as well. Yeah, I love oh that. my god, yeah. You're, you're eating shit and you're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a bit later on. Oh no, she's offering shit to the gods. <laughs> Put it behind her neck. <laughs> oh, and, no, I love that. Yeah. Oh. But it's a, again compared to the anime design mm. with uh, they did actually a pretty good job. Yeah. Yes. Recreating that outfit yeah. and recreating. I don't know if they they actually got an actress who genuinely had that hair and they gave her hair extensions to uh, probably a, a combination of things, yeah. isn't it? You know, yeah. Like like... Again, I'd love to see the behind the scenes of feature on this to see how they got the outfits mm. to look that way. Because like, what effect did they do to give the plate in the hair? Which yes. that's the only one that didn't work for me as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, because when you look at when you look at Surumi's thing, it covers like half his head. This one's just like half the forehead. Yes, yeah. yeah. It sort of uh, stood out a bit more, and it looked a lot more fake. Yeah, it, it yeah. would be a hard thing to replicate anyway. I think in live action, but yeah, yeah it, it was one of the. First but that that's one of the challenges of making live action anime. It's yeah, like yeah, something yeah. that looks very good in a manga or in an anime yeah. it might not necessarily look so well when. It, um, blown up into real life 3D. Yeah. As yeah. as loads of cosplayers have found out to their yes, detriment. Yes, indeed. It uh, like s seeing like a surface costume and like Sugimoto's costume like uh, uh, IRL. Um, that uh, it did make me want to do a cosplay. Yeah. Like, like so, so cool. Is it just me? It's just me. Actually, did they expand? Do you think they expand Sugimoto's backstory of, a little bit, a bit in this one? Uh, I imagine that what's happened there is, and I don't know this for certain, they've taken some of the stuff further ahead in the manga and transported it into this bit. Just because from where we where we are in the anime, we still only think uh, Sugimoto Sugimoto's just wanting to do right by his by his best friends by his best friend after he died. But in this one, is most is sort of like he also has a thing with um the girl. Yes, yeah, yeah, it seems as though they kind of expanded uh, I that. reckon, again, that's a thing that they've taken from for later in the manga and transported back. Yeah, I yeah. don't know that for certain. There's going to be some manga readers who say that he's talking shit. Mm. But, I mean, so sadly, it feels as though that if, if they have drawn points from the future, I think that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Um, as for, like, you know, it, it makes sense to flesh it out a little bit because the story will be told the, differently. Here's, a, here's the thing I'm wondering, though. How does Netflix decide when to put more... Because oh, Netflix have just licensed this. They're not done the publish. Mm. It's not yeah. like Cowboy Bebop where they've directly put a financial yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, stake in it. Yeah. They, uh, so how would Netflix, say a company like Netflix, judge that this has been a success? Because they obviously won't make any money from sales. Everyone who sees it will have a subscription to mm -hmm. Netflix. Yeah, is it, and they never release their viewing it, figures. It, it, that's what it'll be. It'll be how many people watch it. But, yeah, but the, they I, don't think it, I think I also just like... I think it also decided on like how well it does in Japan as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, is it going to increase manga sales? Because I yeah. think the reason why we haven't heard an announcement for Rent a Girlfriend season four, for example, is because the manga sales for that are starting to go down. Mm -hmm. Also, because so, I mean, I mean, rightfully so, the manga's shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is some. Is that my phone? That's mine. <laughs> um, is there some? There is some crap happening in the recent chapters. Carl, there's crap ha happening in every chapter. Yeah, there was of Rent a Girlfriend. But, one, but it was, right? I'll, 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 uh, but there is a moment, I think even the fan bases like me, they are starting to go, oh, for fuck's sake, get on with it already. <laughs> the fact that there's still a fan base is... Uh, I know, that's... that's <laughs> it, it's I, mean, I, mean, I mean, again, the most I've seen recently is that they had a two-page spread for the main girl to say she was on that period. That's not a joke, that really happened. Okay. Uh, well, at least they're raising, raising awareness of women and female issues. That's positive. Sarcasm! Well, you can't do Land America anymore. Why should we send to prison? Pardon? <laughs> don't, don't ask on that one. Okay. Um, Thank God we're in Britain. Speaking of which, we're in to, to clarify, that wasn't me being sarcastic about saying women's issues are important. Just that, why are they doing it in an anime dedicated to having multiple girlfriends at once? That kind of defeats the point. Anyway. So, uh, the thing I find inter interesting as well, uh, I think, I don't know about historical accuracy because I've not actually looked into this and I've not heard any experts talk about the historical yeah. accuracy of Golden Canway. Mm, yeah. So we are sort of taking their word on that this is what the time period was like. 
Yeah. Yeah, in the early 1900s. I mean, yeah. it is a time period that you don't normally go to no. in Japan very often. It's I, always in the Edo period. Yeah. Mm. I could imagine, though, considering what I, I imagine it's definitely more historically accurate than, say, the Anastasia movie, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there's no talking bats in this. The, the, the bugs and the bats didn't sing in the dark of the night either. <laughs> what? Well, they get the wrong year at the start. They lied to me, did they? Yeah, yeah, seriously. The start, the, it starts with it, they say it's 1916. The revolution happened in 1917. Oh, right. Well, it, it might have been been a prelude to uh, the revolution. Yeah, but even then they said they would do they would die within the fortnight. There's no way unless it's New Year's Eve yeah, yeah, yeah. that um it, that thing's taking place. I mean when let's be honest, when historical accuracy really mattered to me, to many people. As an example, in Holmes and Watson the climax takes place on the fucking Titanic. Yeah, no, that's that's ridiculous. That, uh, uh, in all in all fairness though, I don't know why I use that as an example, Holmes and Watson is a goddamn piece of shit fucking film. The, the, um, do, 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 do you be grateful for that? Is it the awful. one with Ian Kellen? It's yeah. the one. No, it's the one with the. Fuck, what's his name again? Uh, w um, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell and oh. John C. Riley. Oh, oh, that God. one. Yeah, it's terrible. And, and there's a bit. There's like a ministry where they just spe they spend a minute like eating an onion in it. Oh, and for WWE fans... A raw fans, onion. It's right. all. It's disgusting. Oh, and for WWE fans, they have Braun Strowman in there. Yeah. Um, in, in terms of historical accuracy, no idea, but it is interesting because it's a period of time I didn't, I didn't even know that Russia and Japan went to war prior to watching this. Yeah, no, I watched an... Uh, the original anime. Well, well it's, it's weird because I watched an anime post-World War II mm. where, where the Russians... I, mean, I, I think all of the anime we've watched so far have been <laughs> uh, well, well, that's kind of time period, very post-World War II. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's basically about um, uh, some of the Russian occupation of Japan. Oh, right. And it's v very... Very depressing movie. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend no, okay. watching it if you don't want to be depressed. Mm. Um, what if you already are depressed? It's called Giovanni's. Um, oh, God, oh it's a sequel to Pokemon. Oh, fucking dear, you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. It, I knew he was guilty of war crimes. It's uh, Giovanni's Island. Oh. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting that it's an Italian name. Uh, it, apparently, it's there's a red explanation in it, mm. but it's a weird. I would say the thing about Camway for me is it always gets that great balance of serious and hilarious. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like you could go from a really intense action scene one second and then you're laughing your ass off the next and it works super well. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. the film I think the film does it quite well. Yeah, yeah I I I'd say, I'd def I definitely say so. Like the scene where uh Shiraishi and Su and Sugimoto are trying to light the fire alone. It's hilarious. <laughs> and, yeah. I love Shiraishi trying just to just take <laughs> up the stick. Yeah, oh. also, also just uh, Sugimoto constantly saying, "I am immortal, yeah, yeah. Sugimoto, <laughs> I am immortal." It it really did like it. It really did have a, um, kind of bring the same laughter and humor to uh, which, yeah. which is hard to do. I think. I think, they, I think in this. Um, I think in the Netflix movie they've gone sixty forty with sixty to serious. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a bit more to serious. I would say. I um, say, I, but at the same time, I still say the anime is like that. I still yeah. say the anime is mostly serious, but it has a lot of, you know, yeah. just lighter moments with it. But again, they were quite limited on what they could do with some of the humour. So, like, yeah. for example, they can't have um, Aspera uh, going through the bloody roof. Yes, yeah. 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 You are mm -hmm. the <laughs> yes. Yeah. Though they do still lean into some of the absurdness, like uh, Shiraishi being able to break, sneak through the metal bars yes. by like <laughs> covering himself in barrel and that, dislocating that, his joints. That was yeah. hard to watch, actually. That was gross. Uh, okay. yeah. um, I, I just him trying to squeeze his head through. I was just like, no, be just see behind the scenes, and there's no CGI. He <laughs> just does that. <laughs> ow! 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 Yeah, what? yeah, like you just, you just. Get, Mr. Sukimoto, what you just are uh, just science because you just hear. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, um, I mean, costume department's excellent. Yep, absolutely. Costume, yeah. costume is amazing. I do feel like um, with Hijijaka's beard, Hijitaka's beard, you can yeah. kind of tell it's a bit fake. Yeah, yeah. and, and stuck on. Yes, yeah. uh, but I'd say for um, good. I love the fact the content warning you get here for like the manga: animal abuse, explicit violence, mature themes, nudity, sexual content. Yeah. They know they they know this. They've got it that right. Absolutely. My favorite genders. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, don't forget the the latest part of the anime where, where those two guys have a jizz off. Oh my god, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> I can't. Like you would not from season one, you would not expect to see that in fucking season four. No, nah. it does take turns. It gets very overtly sexual, pretty much like season two. Or the, I think. 
I mean, I, I was going to say, although a lot of the action is, you know, they have to be more realistic because it's live action. Like yeah. seeing Sugimoto early on, like dive into the trench and like you know jump mm. in between the yeah. Uh, yeah, fantastic stunt work. In yeah. This. Yeah. yeah, it, it was over the top and, and very. Yeah. My one problem with that scene, no one was shooting exactly. him. Exactly, they were all yeah. just like, they are just like, oh god, uh, 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 <laughs> let's look at him. Uh, yeah, because you just see all the actors in, in the trench, the line in the trench is yeah. off, just holding the gun, staring at him. Yeah, <laughs> and all he does is just use his bayonet. No one yeah. shoots. Shoots at yeah. all. Uh, yeah, and then when he does do that, just cracks over the head with the butt of the rifle yeah, exactly. as well. Right, you're not going to shoot. You're not going to shoot the person that yeah. you're here to uh, kill. No. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like it's just like the scene of Aladdin. He's got a gun. You <laughs> yeah. We've all got guns. <laughs> now, I suppose yeah. I should say, but it's his turn now. <laughs> yeah. oh. He's used the potion so, of quickening. And then it's the uh, bridge thing. So I just got a nosebleed out of pure stupidity. Yeah. I'm so, don't think you're that stupid, Vegeta. Yeah. Ah! Ah. And, and they still had like those great showpiece moments, like the action sequence on the sled at the end mm. as well. Like, it's, oh it's so God! Anime. Yeah. It's yeah. so anime. Yeah. That would last slow mo in this film actually. Yes. That's probably one major, maybe a little bit gripe. I think that was a bit too much. And I wanted to say about the soundtrack as well. You know, uh, I was going to bring that up. The soundtrack is great. Because yeah, you'd expect it to be like music of the times, like kind of more classical instruments. But the fact that we're using like electronic, sort of like very synthetic noises, I found, yeah. I found really interesting. It's effect it really effective though. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I agree. Absolutely. I mean, I. I'll, I'll, the film for me that. That, that was, again it comes back to me all the time. Would I recommend someone watch this over the anime? I I would say so if they're not an anime fan. Yeah. yeah. If they're not an anime fan and they're like, but then again, I because I feel I feel like this could be a good introduction, and if someone yes. likes it enough, we could say, oh, there's an anime out there. Say, so, oh, I'll keep watching. Yes. Yeah. So le okay, let me add something to it. Let's say, for example, but I, I'm wondering, could you get that audience with? For example, they don't really watch that many foreign language films. Mm. So I'm wondering how many people, like Parasite won Best Picture, the first foreign language film to win Best Picture. Even after that, I wonder how many people have actually watched Parasite. I would like to, I just I haven't got one, run to watching many films. So. <laughs> I, at least with live action goal, can we? It does have the English dub. Which yes. is terrible. I didn't watch it. Until I it. did. It, it wasn't that bad. Really? It's not. It's not bad, but it's very out of sync with the. Yeah, which is be expected. You have to. Yeah, you have to admit watching like things that are meant to be spoken in Japanese in English is always jarring. Yes. Yeah, because because we all get flashbacks to those older seventies and sixties yeah. uh, kung fu movies. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. From this point <laughs> onwards, you will call me Betty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like, like um, uh, what's the name, Maud from and of course, Zinc. And of course, the personal favourite that for the Night Wizowski. And of course, the favourite that everyone does. Today is Friday, Friday in, in California. California. Huh? Shoot! <laughs> I don't know what that one is. Well, I'll it's, play it for it's you. It's from the Super, Super Sentai, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. Yeah. Beautiful. It's, um... And now I've got things I'm stuck in my head. <laughs> I could get out of your head. Bang, 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 bang. You know, I keep, I, you know, I keep thinking I should at some point watch at least try Kamen Rider. Oh yeah, definitely example. Kamen Rider. Because, because like I know a lot. Because like I know, I think just because I know Super Sentai is like so associated to Power Rangers, I kind of yeah. want to watch something a bit different. Mm. Sorry, yeah. I'm just real. I'm just and I especially seeing as I yeah. really enjoyed Fruto PI when that came out. Yeah, so with Super Sentai, that's normally aimed at. Younger children, whereas Kamen Rider's uh, teenagers. Hence okay. why Go Go Loser Ranger is kind of a. It, it's a lot of the fans of the gelatos, which aren't. They aren't called that in the anime version. No. In the manga, they refer, the Rangers are referred to as the gelatos. In this, uh, like the, the Dragon Keepers. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, weird, it's, weird, it's weird they made that change. Anyway, we can do that. We'll do that in July. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I think it's. I think my biggest problem. I, I think that's. Do, my, do you dislike it? No, I just kind of felt a bit. I oh, think. That's there. That I yeah, really I, I think. Really I think my stance on is yes. When you look at the compa yes, considering the anime is out there, it's not very much point in existing, but it does exist. Yeah. And I do like it. I, I do. It's not as it's. I like it. I like that it exists. Yeah. No. It, yeah. It, it, it. You could do so much worse than this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Uh, well, for example, also on Netflix, Cowboy Bebop live action. Can I, can yeah. I, can or, I or, or, or going with the Japan down the Japanese route, Formal Alchemist yes. live action. Yes, yes, very true. Okay, let's do one we liked and compare it with that one. Uh, Zon 100 live action. We all kind of liked that one. I think this is better than. I say this is better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally. 
I'm going to agree with you. Yeah. I think it's better than Zom 100. The reason yeah. being, I think Zom 100 made too many changes. They tried to combine too many arcs into one. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and it, as a result, actually kind of made it a bit of a yeah. clump together mess. Yeah. yeah. The However, however, because of that, the problem with Golden Kamui is that if you did decide, okay, we're going to keep making live action stuff, you're not going to get to the end of that manga unless you yeah. really condense it. Like, yes. or, or just skip a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, they chose the first arc practically, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. it was the well, first five first, episodes. First five episodes, yeah. So that, I mean, again, you've only adapted the first five episodes of the anime. There's, like, there's so much more to adapt. Yeah. Like, one thing you could do is keep shooting forwards and then have little flashbacks to different elements. This of it. would have worked a lot better if it was a live action series. Yeah, yes. I agree. To a film. Maybe that was the original plan. But here's the maybe. Th- maybe yeah, who knows? Maybe they're testing the water with it. Mm. And then we'll then move into the live action series. Oh, yeah, but here's the thing, though. Do you reckon that means if they did that, we wouldn't get the anime? Where they'd say, well, we're having the live action no, series, why do we need the anime? No, no. no they, would do, they would do both. They would do both. Is there plans yeah. for more anime, actually, to be fair? Uh, I, season five has been announced, but it has only been a couple of years since season four, four was, I think. Yeah. And plus, it took a while for us to get season two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. I mean, I, like, for me, I think the way I view it is as an analog to the One Piece live action. You know, I, yeah. I can enjoy both of them because they're both the thing that I like. Yeah. I would say to casual viewers, people who aren't fans of anime, watch the live action and then right. test the waters of the anime. Can I be honest? I prefer One Piece. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. But they're different. I would say. Yeah, that's a, that's. A, they I, are very different. Honestly, I, honestly, I say I prefer I prefer the One Piece one. Yeah. Ah, oh, some one. fucker set off the alarm again. Joe. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Ren. Yeah, sorry, my ass was there. There's um. Not again. No, it's just so fast. I'm sorry and juicy. How do you oh. stretch it like that? I'm sorry, it's just I'm just so. But he bops it, twists it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone else besides me remembers that. Yeah. Yep. Um. Dude, Bobby was like my fucking childhood. Are you kidding me? So, what is the worst? Uh, what, 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 well, let's say there's something that we don't like about this this movie. Is there anything we didn't like about the movie? Because I'm struggling to come up with a genuine negative other than I think I kind of don't see the point of it considering the anime kind of still exists. I think all the ones we've already we've just met we've already mentioned all the gripes we have with it. Yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd say nitpicky in terms of like it can be over the top in terms of what you'd expect for a live action, but also it's an anime adaptation, so that sort of yeah. circumvents that. Yeah. So, 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 so my only thing I mentioned at the start was that. The actors are slightly less expressive, apart from yeah. Gatifer Sh- uh, yeah, Shrashi, yeah. yeah. who was spot on to his character yeah, from the anime. Great. But but at the same but at the same time, something you kind of expect with live yeah. actions. Yes. Uh, the bad thing said, I think Surumi got his got got his character yeah. really well when yes. it comes to like expressions. Yes. Yeah. Same with the Hijikata, but they're very downbeat characters, really. So, uh, uh, and he also won in it for long. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially with uh, Hijikata. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd say the pacing was pretty spot on. There wasn't mm. really any critique in terms of um, the. Yeah, I, I, it never I, felt like it went too slow, too quick. I, I guess maybe it was slightly long. I guess I think perhaps the kind of because there were several points where the tension would mount and then descend and then it would mount like yeah. three or so times that happened. I'd say that felt a little bit elongated, maybe. Yeah. That just, at the same time, I feel like it. They had to. They had to like get to the point where they ended the film at yes. because they near that big crescendo at the very end. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a case of because you're doing a film, you have to have a big climax. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, it's a case. I think the only film I've seen that didn't really have a big climax and it kind of worked was recently was Furiosa. I'm seeing it on Sunday. Very good movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's annoying that it's not done very well at the box office. Yeah, mm. the fucking Garfield movie did better. No, no, no. no, no Furious beat it. Oh, okay. Furiosa did beat it, but well, barely. Barely, yeah. Uh, yeah, because it, it led to all the uh, funny headlines with uh, Furiosa edges Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so that she did what? Uh, Calvin? <laughs> oh, fuck off with this joke. Unfortunate. So, um, I mean, very good. I, I, I'd say we. I kind of really have things to say about it because it's just it's very good adaptation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good, and I would welcome more. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely, I absolutely really love to see these characters back. The one, the one problem is we are going to see the character as a super age up more yes, and more yes. so if they do decide to adapt the entire thing she's going to be in her fucking 30s yeah, by the end yeah. of the time no, imagine it. fucking Luffy's actor though like he's <laughs> in his 90s I reckon he's one, I reckon he's one of those actors who ages in a way that he can play young hopefully yeah, yeah. Uh, the, a lot of moisturising with a serp <laughs> I think they're going to have they, she might get recast 
no, I don't. I think they go on. Maybe. I maybe. mean, maybe. They, 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 like that. That's the thing. They can't have a be. But if they're going to be accurate to the uh, uh, to the manga, yeah. they can't have a good look. It, it, she's got to be at least the minimum. She can be is 13, 14. But, but that's the thing is that I think like it was a good idea to age up the actress if they intend to do more because like she's a young adult presumably and she mm. won't grow much more. So she's always going to be short stature. <laughs> Yeah. Presumably that's why they chose an actress who was short. Thank you, my phone going off. Oh, nice. I can't, I put it in this case, I can't turn oh, it to silence. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, plus, you know, there might be another um, sort of Ellie from live action Last of Us situation where she mm. looks really young, but she is an adult. Yes, yeah. exa- yes exactly. Um, or so- uh, Children of the Corn. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> oh, amazing. That movie. was that. How the fuck? That how movie fuck? is amazing. No, no not just movie. It's a series. Oh yeah, there's a series as well. There's like yeah. six of them. Wow, bloody hell! I, that's one of King's short stories as well. What yeah. the hell? It was very popular on the home release. Oh, it's the 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 um the 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 short story is way darker than the movies. Yeah. I was going to say, the ending to um, Golden Kamui, I, like, I don't mind a sequel bait because I thought the film was really good. Yeah. Um, like, so seeing all the characters that were yet to be introduced to, like yeah. a nice sort of like... Um, but I also have a problem with sequel baiting, which is that you're never guaranteed a sequel. But yeah. I want a sequel, so that yeah. makes me I, like it. I think, it's, um, <laughs> I think, I think also it's, it's not too sequel baity. Yeah. No, it just shows the characters that okay. we let, let me Yeah, it just shows the characters we've seen in season two. Yeah. Uh, I've just thought there's 11 of them. Eleven Children of the Corn. Bloody like, hell! Like, sorry, including you, the you remake. Need adaptations. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Okay. <laughs> so sure thing. Let's... Someone really likes that movie yeah. or that yeah. series. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Isaac's Return. Wait, Children of the Corn Genesis. What? What the fuck? Yeah, it just shows how it happened. Children of yeah. the Corn Two. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? There's been a couple of remakes. And now the altering yeah. Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> the alternate version of Children of the Corn. Children of the Peas! <laughs> Children of the Two Electric Boogaloo. Um, so, shall we talk about slime then? Because yes. we didn't realise... Two children, two corn. Because <laughs> uh, we didn't, rea- didn't realise that My Only Girl was coming out this se- uh, uh, soon, so we could have done that as the other yeah. Netflix movie, but... Yeah. I, don't know what I mean... I- I say it's a good, I say it's a good time to talk about this one. Again, season three's out, and yep. the Blu-rays. Uh, it's a lot easier to pick up the Blu-rays on Crunchyroll now. So it's out of math. We're at the. You same. say that as I said, I could not find a Blu-ray for this. No, no, I could only find the uh, this series. Which is weird because I saw it in the cinema when it came out. I remember you saying about this, yeah. So and um, I've got. I'll give you my opinion right now. Then it's. I think it's a very good extended episode. Yeah. I thought it was very mid. I really liked it. I really, no, I, I, I liked really, it. I liked it. I liked it, but it does feel like an extended, a mini season. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The best way to describe this is is a canon, non-canon mo- movie. Yeah. It's not in the original light novel, but it was made written by the original author. Yeah. Uh, so he can make it canon later if he wants to. Yeah. 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 So I, I and I think he probably will, considering how well it's gone down. Um, I, I mean, I think when it came out, I was like the fourth highest-grossing film in in uh, Japan. Wow. I mean, be, uh, put it this way: I don't think you can make that many changes to Benny Maru's character and his yeah. backstory, no. and yeah. then not uh, and then not make it canon. Just yeah. wait a minute, you had a, this some this bro, this brother you had for ages, and we're not going to talk about it yeah. ever again. He was in the movie. He's self-contained. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he, 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 he's over there. What is yeah. it? He's over there because he over his own problems. Yeah. What, 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 what is it? Did think he was, alpha movie. In all fairness, he did think he was yeah. dead. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 they're just going to do a Dragon Ball oh. where uh, Vegeta's long lost brother, I was Tarbo. Gonna, yeah, I was going to say, hey, my, yeah, hey, my name's Tarbo. It's nice to meet, nice to meet you. I, hey, can I just say, I really don't like the Street Fighter Alpha movie. I've, I've not seen them. I've never seen them. Ryu's long, long lost brother from Brazil. Yeah. Ryu. <laughs> and, he's, and I think he's voiced by Jiu Jitsu by any chance? No, I think he's voiced by Eddie from Eddie and Eddie. No, no, he's voiced by Izzy from Digimon. Interesting. Oh. Um, so he's also a rabbit in. Um, uh, yeah, no, what am I thinking? Yeah, in 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 fucking. Oh my god. Ren, you, you use your words. Well, with with Legacy. What, with uh, Legoshi. Uh, oh, Beastars. Beastars. Yes, thank you, yes. That's no, that's Ka- Kari. That's, that, that's oh, Kari. For fuck's sake, I was going to say, yeah. Sure, anyway. Uh, but, 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 uh, both characters are voiced by a woman. Are they? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, no, I got a second. Who is, whose voice is Izzy? Um, I'm pretty sure it, 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 it's a female actress. Hang on a second. Dude. Well, I, I, I could be wrong. Let's have a look. Hang on a second. We, this, we, this is very relevant to, yeah. the, to the discussion. This is important. Yes, we need to know this. You need to up your your scroll speed, Carl. 
You you can't click the thing on the stuff on go on you can, Apple you computers. Can use two fingers to scroll. Fuck's sake. Windows Windows PC superiority. Yeah. Uh, it's Monica. It's Monica Marshall. Don't know who that is. Mona Marshall. Sorry. Wait, so she voices uh, Ryu's brother. Uh, yeah. Oh, is it like Ryu's little brother? Yes. Okay, I was gonna say it would be strange. Yeah, she's also the voice of Shiro in. Um... Oh, she plays Shiro. That's cool. Uh, she's in Black Clover at the minute. Mm. As um, Miwa. No, no, that, that's more like the the yeah, anime has the anime has finished. Yeah. The manga is still ongoing, right. but it's coming out at like a three month bit right now. Okay, yeah. it's like a new chapter every three months. That's yeah, fine. yeah. She, she she's also Shiro Emiya. Yes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Fate franchise, mm -hmm. and by extension, Archer. <laughs> still can't find a way to watch an Adomo Canley. Anyway, um. So what do you think? What, uh, what do we think of? Um, I mean, in we, terms of like the storyline, I think it works quite well. It's basically yeah. Yeah. Um, Benny Maru's long lost brother comes back. I like how they're um, imp how they're expanding on the Oni's backstory rather than just you know imp showing off Rimuru more, which is yeah. something I've always enjoyed about that. I got Rikai as a slime. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because Rimuru has most of his most interesting character moments in sort of like portions. You don't need to focus so he that yeah. incredibly heavily yeah. on him. Uh, he actually kind of uh, this is one of the because Rimuru is one of the few protagonists who I justify everyone worshipping him because he actually they actually do show yeah the process of how we got yeah. there the it's a bit it's a bit I find him that's why I've really kind of liked Tsukimichi recently mm. because I think um, Makoto has a very yeah. similar this, yeah, character the, the thing the sort of the draw to Rimuru I think is he just he makes everyone's life be life better yeah yeah and it's like with all the other, with all the other isekai, it all, it always feels like oh he's making people feel life better and he gets something out of it. Isn't yeah. he awesome? With Rumor, it's just like no, no. He just yeah, he, he just, just wants the best. He, he just wants people yeah. to be happy. I yeah. will I, I will say I actually watched um, because I went to cinema to see this at the time I went to see it. It's my first time I watched Slime in English language dub. The dub cast are actually pretty good. Yeah. I, I I thought um. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do you think Rimuru sounds like Futaba from Persona Five a bit? Uh, it's Brittany K uh, Karbawaski playing Karbowski. him. Because I see, I see the saw the film in both dub and but dub play? and sub. It was kind of jarring. I will admit. Um, I'm checking. Uh, she wasn't in Persona Five. I she swear was, I've heard them in things. As far before. as I can tell, let me double check that. But um, she's um, sh uh, she's uh, she is Black Star in um. Soul Eater. Soul Eater. That make yeah, that makes sense. It's that yeah. Um, when did the anime for um? Press uh, Control F. So for Persona Five that came out twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. So. Wow. Yeah, I don't see it. She's uh, she is. Uh, she's I'm not a... saying the same actor. I'm saying they both sound similar. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, I'm just checking if it is the same actor. Uh, no, I can't see her in that one. In that one, but she is quite an accomplished uh, voice actor. Mm. I mean, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I mean, again, brilliant use of it. Oh, we're going for reaches in Super Scientific Railgun. Hey, so, I don't even remember a character in uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah, she was in Tribe Nine, that baseball I remember all lights. Hey, oh. <laughs> if you remember so, that. Yeah, oh yeah, no, and I could be sailor uniform. Give us Savannah, give us Vanita season three, damn it. Mm. Oh. Modern subject again. I think the um. Did a very good job. I'd say uh, uh, Hero is a really good yeah. addition to the. Oh yeah, but yeah, oh, yeah, very good. Uh, very interesting character. I thought they were going to kill him off just for the sense of um, keeping to the canon. Yeah. But uh, I mean, they, they do that. Th they do the classic film thing where it's like everyone's story is boxed off and there's no need for them to re-enter. Yeah. But they're there should they ever want to use them? Yeah. Vill yeah. Villain's kind of weak. Let's be honest, Elliot. Yeah. Oh god. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. I will, I will, I will grant you that. I will grant you that. But I don't think the villain was really the, a massive focus on it. No. He, I mean, he came in the film halfway through. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, oh I, yeah, we got to make this. I do. Him. We gotta I, make do I do like that his comeuppance is basically because of his own doing. Yeah. yeah. Because he wanted to make it because he was was essentially doing all this so his goddess, I guess. Well, uh, no, I mean, it was self-serving, wasn't it? Yeah, was, um, would, you know, reward him, and she was just like, no, you've ruined my fun, get yeah, fucked. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, as well, is Rimuru is, he's never an aggressor in any situation, yeah. really. He's always reactive, so it's kind of like any, and that's a great way of doing that sort of protagonist, because if you want to do an overpowered protagonist, you've got to have it be, they're react, completely reactive, it's like, yeah. you, 
you, right, I tried to sort this out. You brought this on yourself. Mm. Yeah. And we're seeing that quite a bit in the new season of the anime as well, actually. Yeah. In fact, if anything, this actually leads quite well. Even though it doesn't directly do it, it does lead quite well into season three, I think. Yeah. I don't know, because season three, because season three uh, starts immediately when the second season ends. When he... Because the first episode of season three, or second, I think, but, is when is Rimuru returning from the meeting with the rest of the Demon Lords. So when would you say this would take place if this was to be made canon? It's definitely it would definitely take place after yeah. definitely after season three. I would say I would oh, say. Really? Yeah. Or, or at the very least, where we're current, where we're current. Yeah, it would be hard to fit uh, in. I guess it time. would be hard to fit it. You could have it take place just before season two because you could have it between the end of Slime Diaries and season two. No, oh, you, ca you can't. Remember, he's a demon lord in this one, yeah. and he oh, ends yeah. season two with as yes. a demon lord. No, the, uh, what we're going to do during season three? That's going to say, and then Rimuru took a weekend off, yeah, and then yeah. smash cut to the film. Yeah, yeah, but she also, then you got to say all these other characters also took a weekend <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was a very uh, a quiet weekend. Yes, so they decided to go off of no continual relevance <laughs> to the rest of the timeline. I mean, even I mean, they even uh, make reference. It even make reference to a uh, Shion, to um, Shion, you know, having the master cooking skill. Mm. Mm. Definitely hasn't done that yet. Um, uh, what? Where? I mean, uh, animation-wise, it definitely feels like they did a little bit of an upgrade for the film. Yeah, I'd say it's on par personally. Uh, Slime has always had really good animation. I say it's about uh, it's about yeah. on the same level. Yeah, I, I think that. Sorry, it just. To, I, I think that's one of my issues with it is because if you're making a feature length film, I would expect like a big upgrade, mm -hmm. and it did feel like kind of consistency with the anime. Which, well, which is I good. think I well, th in Studio Eight bits. Yeah, 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 I, I think the reason I think the reason why is because is because when we got those films back then, mm -hmm. you would expect like a. Eh, the series didn't have the best animation back then. You have yeah. to admit. Meanwhile, nowadays. Animation has improved so much; it's sort of on par with the movie animation, so mm -hmm. they can kind of compete. But there, there yeah. actually is. You make manga say you make manga and light novel sales. Yeah, we'll um, give you more money. I think it's yeah. a manga actually, rather than a light novel. It's uh, like, no, it is a light novel. There's a manga. manga. It, it's a manga, manga adaptation I mean, of the light. It is a for, it is a light novel. Let me double check that. Um, yeah, it may well come after. Uh, well, they did actually do a manga adaptation of um, that time I got reincarnated as slime, mm. uh, of the of this film actually. So there is a manga adaptation of this. Yeah. The, oh yeah, you, know, you are right, Elliot. It's based on a light novel. The manga itself is based on a light novel. But it's interesting they did actually. The author has made a manga of this yeah. adaptation, so it might be getting merged into canon. Canon. Yeah. It, do. It, it, it does. It tre it treads the line, doesn't it? I think that's the case with a lot of anime. I think. Th another another, another, another thought with this. Bit. Another thought with this one could take place actually. Possib possibly it could take place p take place at some point during season two, because we because while we do get re because we all do hear Rimuru say he's a demon lord now we never get reference to the fact that he killed Clayman I don't think. That is true. Yeah, it, it... and season two does end with him killing Clayman. So on. Uh... I don't think so. At least I, I think, think so, I think but... Benny. Ma I think Benny Mar. I really appreciate Benny Maru's character after yeah. in this film a lot more yeah. than I thought I was going to. Um, I it, mean, I did feel like the Onis were. It did feel like they were developed in the sh in the series, but feel, did feel like they could have done more. Yeah. Do you mean sorry in the series? Yeah, in the oh, series. So, so the film helped. Like, yeah, yeah, the, the film, film helped to develop to develop them a bit definitely more. Definitely laid a little bit more of the groundwork for them mm -hmm. uh, yeah. to understand them as well and the relationships. Um, I I will say as much as I like uh, Brittany uh, uh, as um, as Rimuru, I think Mio Okaski is so perfect. I for the think role. yeah, I think the I think the the Japanese voices do fit the characters more than the English ones do. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's, it, this was my first time watching it in dub as well. I I, I did like the cast actually, but yeah. it did it felt different. I wa quite as good I watched it twice, once in sub, once in dub. Mm -hmm. I do prefer the sub. Mm. I would say overall I prefer the sub, but I do, I'd say the the dub is not a particularly bad dub. Mm. Yeah, I just I, suddenly I, sent a voice memo to myself, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> dub is not bad, Sand. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. But the thing is, for if if you're someone like me, a dub comes in very handy. Mm -hmm. like, oh, you I can't can, read. Can't write. Mm. Barely functions. Mm. Bad taste. <laughs> Likes mid, the defender of mid. Name one mid thing I've defended. Bash from the Heroes Party. party. <laughs> Funny. Uh, what, what was the other one? Bash from the Heroes Party. 
That one I regret. Two, two bars. Um, <laughs> Bass Run Hills Party, I said. I do not regret that one. There you go, case in point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> really good show, sorry. It's mid. Anywho. Um, yep, just Carl's two big reasons for supporting that <laughs> show. <laughs> Oh, also, also, you liked Hokkaido Girls are super adorable. Yeah. I said liked, didn't say I loved it. You liked it, that counts. Yeah, yeah, again, Defender of Mids does apply here because you defended it. You, well, I will say, you said you watched ten episodes of it. But I'll say, I'll say it's... Back to back. I'll say it's, I will agree that it's a, it's not an amazing show. But I don't, I don't understand why everything you watch and like has to be top of the range. It's like... It does. It doesn't. There are some. There are some shows I think are just all right that I do, that I do enjoy. That I do enjoy. The problem is a lot of shows you try and hype up. I don't enjoy. You, you can't. You can't like things and admit its faults. But yeah, yeah like it, 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 saying it's good irrespective of those faults is, is. No, I say I like it in spite of its faults. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, expressing personal preference as opposed to objectively stating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, uh, and you asked, and, and you asked me that season. What was my favorite thing I watched that season? And I said it was Banished from the Heroes Party. Mm. That's, I, it was just, I like to re reiterate people, it was the same season as Comey Khan Communicate and Ranking of Kings. Stand by my decision. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't. I can't, can't I, yeah, I, I, I cannot, I cannot <laughs> abide by that decision. <laughs> no, Com Comey is technic Comey's technically better, and so is Ranking of Kings. They're both technically better, but I like this more. It's a bit okay, like, yeah, that, that, I wonder why. Hmm. That, that's fine to say. That is personal preference. I like to reiterate the thing that I found funny about that show. They didn't even have a doctor that fits the time. The doctor designer is just a literal fucking doctor you find in Japan. Moving Naruto, Naruto moments. <laughs> so, the thing about um, slime, the thing about slime for me is I really liked the. I really usually what I like is the fact it actually is willing to have a big cast with mm -hmm. and, they, and yeah. flesh them all out. Mm. Do, do you think the film? Did a good job with that as well because I think it did. I, yeah. yeah, I'd say so. I say it did a good job at uh, fleshing out Queen Tower and Hero. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, I would even love... even the ministers. I think they saw. And if they to bit. if they want to make this canon, I would love Hero to come back. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I like uh, most of the. I, I, the um, I, I agree with Ren's point though. If you're going for a big motion picture, why would you not increase the animation budget? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It, it, like for me, it, exactly what you said at the beginning, Cal. Um, extended episode is how I described it. Like self-contained extended episode. I would say I'd say it's which... more a mini season now in retrospect. Yeah, yeah. But, it's a mini season. Like it's see, it's like season two point five yes. or three point five. One one of the issues I had with it, I think, was just cause I, I never felt at any point as if that this was going to have long-lasting consequences. Like so, I was just you know I, I was along for the ride, yeah. but I knew by the end of it nothing yeah. was going to be. I would I, I I knew that, but I was just enjoying what was there. Yeah, yeah, which is fair. that's I, was just the I, mindset. I, I, was going I find with. that funny because you've watched like, the that's been a lot of when you with the Dragon Ball movies, mm. and you've and you've refuted that. Um, well, that, yeah, criticism. it's probably because I really like Dragon Ball. And also in the thing with Dragon Ball, the films are in a separate timeline for, for all of Z. Yes, yeah. yeah. And also with me, I, I just really like slime. No, yeah, that, no, that's valid. Surely yeah, yeah, yeah. Gar the Garlic Junior one is no. technically because Garlic Junior it's shows up in Dragon Ball. Yeah, no, because no, uh, that's filler. Yeah, it's on the manga. Yeah. I, I like that. Film. Tourists! And as well, Cal, as well, Pecon is also non canon. It's very sad. I know, he should yeah. be fucking I canon. know he should be. We've got Piccolo at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. No, while we're on the subject. <laughs> um, so before we uh, regress back to the f last podcast we did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because there was actually sort of a, a table of which DVZ character would you most want to see turn canon? Pecon. Uh, there's Pecon, Broly. Oh, Cooler. Now. Cooler. Oh, no, okay. it's, Cooler's a it's separate version of Broly. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, a, a version's been yeah. canon. Let's. Um, Higgy! Let's. Bring see. Oob back or in. We're How do we. To get past the the one thing well, we well he, he has to get really super then. Yeah, yeah, it'll be at the end of that. Yeah. No, he, he shows up part way through. Does he? Yeah. Considering that. You know, this takes place before the end of the Z timeline. I was going to say, so yeah. the, does he meet the characters? He, he uh, meets Goku. Can I ask so this? What the, 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 right, yeah. okay, so that just fucks the end can of the Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Can we please go back to talking about my funny yeah, sorry. Sakai <laughs> rather than your funny Sakai? So now we're on season uh, we're on season three of um Slime. Yep. We're now and we're part way through that. At the time of recording, I should say. We finished all season two mm -hmm. and now had this movie. I'm fully up to date on season three. Where do we stand? On sort of the rankings of Isekai when it comes to sign, where do we where do we put it? I know Elliot, you'll probably put it number one. It's still my favorite. Mm. 
It's it's easily my top five. Yeah, it's in yes, my top five. I agree with that. I'd yeah. say what we say challenge there. What goes in the top five as well? Because I'd say Re Zero is one I want to meet. Uh, Shield Hero for me. Shield Hero definitely. I'd say yeah. I'd say Re Zero. I'd say the wrong way to use him in magic. I'd say that's a, that's, that's a good that's one. A very, yeah. it's yeah. A I'm not sure I put it in the top five yet. Can we hold that one? Can, uh, yeah, yeah, can we put that as a candidate for? So we say Re Zero, Shield Hero, mm. two getting in there. One that's in the top five, which I'm still so disappointed hasn't gotten a uh, season two cautious hero. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to put that to one side for now. I'm not sure I want to put yeah. that straight in there yet. And of course, uh, for, for me, my obvious ones are Digimon. Yeah. Seasons, yes. one, yeah. seasons one through three. That might just take the, take the top of the spot. I feel like if we put Digimon in there, we have to just eliminate everything else because yeah. it, uh, um, I'm, I'm looking at. Well, so, boy, there's nice and magic rank, Chris. <laughs> Six. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, it's not, bad, but it's got Max. Yeah. yeah. We're not having Masuka. Ma- Ma- Which like, is yeah, so popular in Japan. Overlord. Overlord. Overlord is a potential one. Mm-hmm. Kanasuba. Yeah. Kanasuba. I'm not having No Game No Life in there. <laughs> My next night is a Venomous. Jo- uh, Jobless Reincarnation. <laughs> no way. No fucking oh, way. About, um, On no planet am I having um, Log Horizon in there. I say Tsukimichi's oh, pop- was all right. I say Tsukimichi's probably what up about, there. Um, Tsukimichi, I would now say, is up there. What yes. was it called? The Paladins? Oh, Far Away Paladin. Far Away Paladin. Yeah. That was a very good. That one was very good. Uh, I think the one I want to stick in there is kind of Suba, though, at the minute. Just... Like, as much as I like Tsukimichi, and I think I've got... Do you know what it is? I feel like I... Lo- going back to the previous point about like versus technically better, I think... Well, I actually, like Tsukimichi more mm. than Konosuba. Oh, actually, another one, really. The, number one that's probably a top three for me, Saga, Tony of the Evil. Saga, Tony of the Evil. Oh, shit, yeah, wow. Uh, and then the one I, 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 I want, want season two so bad. Oh, no, and just... then the one we all love there, so I'm a spider, so what? Yeah, <laughs> true, so true. Oh, my God, so yeah. Have we finally got to... The, the one I really like, but no one watched it, uh, Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Shouldn't watch it. Watch no watch one it. watched it. It's really annoying. It's one of the best animated shows I've ever seen. Really? Well, but, but that was 2016, so I was roughly just when we started. That's true, yeah. It was, it's basically... I wasn't watching seasonal anime at I can't point. really go into why the themes of what make it such a great isekai, mm. because I'd have to give away a big plot twist. Mm, okay. But it's a really great... Incidentally, Slime does carry, of the top uh, ten on Anime Planet, it takes up three of the top, of oh, all wow. of the top three. Got season down. two, season two, part two, and season one are all in the top three. Season two was amazing. So let's say we, um, let's say we took the anime planet list and we go by one entry per, per thing. So mm. slime goes, it gets number one. Then it would be Mashoko Tensai, annoyingly, because mm. it's not. For a lot of people do really like it. Eminence of Shadow. Oh um, yeah. Eminence of Shadow's next. I love Eminence of Shadow. So good. Uh, then it's Rise of Shooter. Then it's the Boy and the Beast, um, oh, Mamoru Hosoda's film. Yeah. yeah, that would. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five for that one. Yeah. And if we if we did that one, so, so let's eliminate Mamoru Hosoda because it's uh, a film. It's a film. I'm also going to eliminate Time of the Evil because it's the film version that's got uh, the highest rating. So yeah. I'm going to eliminate that one. I'm going to have Overlord in there. None of us would take Mashoka Tensai, so let's take that one out of the yeah. mix. And we'll put Kona Suba in its place. Yep. So we're now left with. Um, uh, look, you you know why we don't like. We've explained several times why we don't like um, Mashoka Tensai. Everything except the the protagonist is good. The protagonist yeah. is an arse. I, I I'm gonna say now. I do really like like the world building and the side characters. It's just Rudy. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go straight in, into this one. Just get it out of the way. No matter. I've heard so many people say Rudy is a good character because he starts off bad and he progresses. The problem is he's got to progress from an area where you can't come back from. Yeah. And that's my reason why we don't like it. Mm-hmm. Incidentally, a sense of a bookworm misses out on the list because of this. Season two is bad though, because we... the Vicaro was if of the and that's got a higher priest. rating. Wait, yeah. I, I still hear a lot of people talk about how good that one is. Ugh. It's interesting though. Re Zero is that? Can we take out Eminence of Shadow and put Re Zero? No. <laughs> Eminence of Shadow is really good. I mean, I've I, I've not seen season two yet, so I can't comment. I'm I've not seen enough of season two's con, but if we were to rank, uh, so let's let's have at least six, and we'll have re zero in there. So we've got yeah. slime, uh, eminence of shadow, shield hero, overlord, Konosuba, and re zero. Yeah. I think that's the six that yeah. we put yeah. up there as the cream of the crop. I think there's others that we like more than like I would say I'd have Tsukimichi in there, but. It's not quite done high enough for the I purposes mean, of this list. A lot of people are probably going to be pissed off for us for putting up Rising of the Shield Hero up there. 
I don't give a fuck. No, it's amazing. I don't give a fuck. Their opinions don't matter. Yeah. Um, and it's only on this top that, 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 that just shows Calvin's mindset, everyone. No, I don't respect your opinions. Your opinion, your opinions are trash. My wife is better, better than yours. It, better than yours. Mental prolapse. What does that taste like? No, the problem is, I any of the criticism I see for Rising of the Shield Hero barely has anything to do with the narrative, the characters, mm. or the fact that he's a slave owner. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's not wrong, but he, he, he's missing. Need never met. Also, Baptalia does promote slavery. Yeah. Yeah. But he's one of the good slave owners. Yeah. <laughs> he he he's a he's he's a with them. Yeah, no, he's so nice to them. Out of those six, but they are. His out of those six, out of those six, which one would we t would would you say would you say is your favourite? Slime. Slime? Probably Overlord, actually. I love Overlord. Overlord you're going for? Shield Hero for me. Shield Hero for you. See, if we were just counting the first season, it would be Shield Hero. If we're taking them as a whole, I season two kind of drags Shield Hero down a bit. But season two is illicit, though. It's only season one. Yeah, but we're counting all Slime together. <laughs> I'm saying we take these as all together okay. um, from this business. I'd say ReZero I'd put as number one mm. on that list. I'd really like ReZero. Even, even, just see, even just season one, I'd still say Slime. To be honest, Cyber of Tiny the Evil, like, I mean, given that we only have the one season, which was but fantastic. It's, it's funny that yeah. we're pointing out all the time that there's these generic bad isekai, and it, there's so many that didn't make our list. That's because that the, major, the majority of them suck. Mm, but okay. then you look at what we didn't mention on the list. We didn't have no, uh, like for example, some people they've listed no game no life there. I don't like no game no life, but plenty of people do. I thought it was fine. Um, you've got Saga Tang the Evil. We did, uh, we didn't mention Gate doesn't count. Gate's a reverse Isekai. Neither do, and Drifters is a pushy. yeah because uh, uh, the whole thing with Gate is just promoting the Japanese defense force. So yeah. Dev was a part time doesn't count for you. I'm guessing that's a reverse Isekai. Yes, it's still Isekai. Uh, well, it's, yeah. still, it's still in there. So, uh, I would say though, like as an as an example, yeah. would you count chilling in a, chilling in another world with sup, with my super cheat level two super cheat skills in isekai? Is a guy going from isekai world to another isekai world? Does that still count? I'm gonna see if it's listed on here as such uh, before I make my decision on that one. I, so I just wanted to go back to slime. Um, I, I'm viewing it a little bit as similar to Overlord in the in the power level that like Rimuru and Car and um, yeah. what's his name? Eins. 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 It, it feels like uh, it felt like in the film that like he could just resolve anything that Rimuru yeah. could just come in. I mean, it's the, like nuclear the, bomb versus the, baby. Yeah. the film does further show how overpowered his beals above skill is. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to count it to your point earlier. I'm going to count it because it doesn't list as East Coast, it is listed as Person in a Strange World, and it has so many East Coast tricks, it might as well be. Okay, great. Then I'd say Devil's a part time because of East Coast. Okay, yeah, so um, what would you. I mean, I would say, though, there's so many. I would like to say, though, I think there's so many bad East Coast, I think it drags down the mid ones if you catch my drift. Mm. Yeah. Not, not even the, not just the mid ones. I say the good ones, like Magical Revolution from last year. Yeah. Mm. We love that. No one's talking about that because it's just another generic isekai name. I feel yeah. like Tsukimichi kind of gets lost a bit in the shuffle mm. as a result as well. I think it was bigger when it, when season one was a thing. Yeah. Season, I think season two has actually pulled it back a bit for a lot of people. Um, uh, the new ED is probably helping because the, the perverts are just pausing constantly during it. Right. Oh, gee, Carl, I, I wonder why you know that. <laughs> Oh, genuinely, when that ED came, I was like, "Wow, they're trying to get away with yeah, that." To, yeah, just if you had a if you had a smart smartwatch. Wow, ten thousand steps in thirty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> um, what? Also, why are they showing off that mech suit if he hasn't actually used it yet? Yeah, just, just trying to bait all the mech, uh, mech fans in. Mm. So and it's working, of course. Into the, in, come in, if I'm wrong. Did they kind of do with both theory, with both theory? Kind of doing Because uh, no, no, I know she has a mech suit. Yeah, but, uh, but she gets about halfway through season one. Ah, uh, yeah. So here's and it's point. amazing. We talked about a lot of... Uh, can, uh, you you, you could disagree with me on this one. Why do you not like Log Horizon? Why do you like Log Horizon? Because I don't like Log Horizon. It, it's not that I like it. I just thought it was okay. Yeah, I don't even think it's that. Because I think the biggest problem I have with it is the whole thing is they're just kind of content being trapped in their video game. Yeah, because that's very realistic. That's e that, that, that's just e that's just isekai. <laughs> it, 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 it goes across another bad when a woman is talking about bringing her kids in there with her. That you cannot subject your kids to that danger. You have a responsibility <laughs> to get back and take care of them. They'll be fine. There's food in the fridge. <laughs> there's a KFC down the road. They're okay. The point, <laughs> look, there's a boiling kettle on the hob. 
<laughs> also, they can't die. There, there's no, there, there's no jeopardy. Isekai protagonists can't die. That's yeah. just the law. Yeah, like don't forget, it's all online. Kirito gets so angry he cannot die. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, literally di- he literally dies in season one, yeah. Yeah. comes back to life and kills the bad guy. Yeah, he fucks the Matrix somehow. Yeah. I didn't, I, did I say I like that about Sword Art Online? <laughs> well, you, you didn't say you didn't. I, I wish, I, I, I'm so nostalgic for Sword Art Online, but in, in, you know, in so many ways I wish it was better. Like, you, you know, it was it's such a missed opportunity. It's one of those, yeah. I, I liked Gun Girl Online, I thought that yeah. was pretty yeah. good. It, it's, a th- it's a thing with Sword Art Online. I liked season. I liked season yeah. one. Yeah. I liked the Gun Gale Online arc. Yeah. Everything else has been terrible. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean. It all. It goes. Re- it's is good until the main protagonist throws sexual assault in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd say I like. I like. I like. I like the first arc of Sword Art Online. Mm-hmm. Bit weird about Elf Online. I actually think the uh, Bridge series significantly improved. I don't. It. I don't like Elf Online. No, I, uh, I also disagree. Uh, I, 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 also d- I, I don't. Fine. I don't really like Gun Girl Online all that much. I, I, like, Gun, I like Gun Girl. I thought it was. A, uh, the it was spin-off a very... series I like. I don't really like the arc um, in the yeah, anime. Yes. No, I, I did like the arc in the anime. Honestly, I liked that it was such a different. Such a, it was such a different setting. Yeah, Resol- like, yeah. The re- the one with uh, the terminally ill girl. That's yeah. my that's my favorite arc in the yeah, whole thing. Uh, 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 Rosario. Yeah, Rosario yeah, one. I, I thought it was called that, but I was didn't have enough confidence. Mother Rosario, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 there was like a few episodes. That, 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 that was that, a great arc. That would have that one I like. I never watched that. Alicization. I personally had a real beef with that one. Didn't watch. Much of I was uh, again. Uh, I was joining to episode ten where sexual assault came in again. Yeah. I, I also. Do you know the thing I hated? They gave away the answer too soon. Yeah. yeah. They they gave away like episode four. Yeah. So, my major one was the first couple of episodes. There was just so many time skips. Mm. Enough with the fucking time skips yeah. already. But if, if you tell your story, or don't tell it at all. Do you know what don't chop it up into twenty odd pieces. S- mm. By the way, spoilers for ending your story. I'm like, no, no one cares. Do you know how that series ends? They spend 200 years in the fantasy world and then just go back to life as if it was normal. Oh, was yeah. it ended, is it? Yeah, they have, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm mean, going to make a robot version of Alice. Oh, at least the Alicization arc has ended. I don't know if the entire thing has ended. No. Also, Ujio is the most pointless character. Which one's it? The... He's Kirito Blonde. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's no reason for him to be there whatsoever. Yeah. Can you guys remember when we, this was about the slime movie? But the point, yeah. the point is, this is why... I liked Diablo. I liked that they continued to... That they expanded his storyline a fair bit. Yeah. 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 Slime good. is a cut above all of these mm. other stuff because it takes time and care with its characters. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people have been complaining about season three because the first six episodes were just meetings. Oh, I liked yeah. the meetings! That's the fucking point of Rimuru's character. He doesn't use a violence unless necessary. Yeah. I mean, look at what he's done. Because of one act he did in season two, he has brought a kingdom to its knees. Mm. And it's basically just said, you cannot fuck with us. Yeah. I, I, and again, I do like the fact it was one of the f- A lot of series have now done this, particularly Tsukimichi's borrowed a lot from this. But it's the whole... F- I don't know which one came out first, so I, I could be wrong on this one, but... One of them's born, but they both do a very similar of this is a world where the downtrodden monsters get their own kingdom and their own rights. Mm. Um, I think Tsukimichi. I think I think Slime does it better because in yeah. Slime they're actually trying to integrate the monsters into society with them. In Tsukimichi, it's just like let's just pop them in the pocket dimension. And again with Suki, but again with Tsukimichi is also we we don't see enough of that prejudice mm. come into p- place. Where I think there's some down the line. From what I've heard from the web novels, it does they explore it quite a bit as well there. Uh, more there. Um, it's, the, it's sort of a storyline that Dan Machi went down yeah. in uh, season three. Which was an excellent season of Dan yeah. Machi. Yeah. Yeah, see, Calvin, it is good. Yeah, no, I'm fair play. I'll eat my words on that one. Later se- season one's not great, but season two and three really bring it back. Cannot wait for season five. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Um, I feel like, though... Do you think Slime's the greatest isekai? Uh, it's my favourite. Would you say... W- your favourite still Shield Hero? Yeah. Uh, I, I would yeah, I would say Overlord, to be honest. Overlord for you. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I don't know if it's technically the best. I'm going like, to be honest. Overlord, I think Overlord peaked to season one. Probably. I think my rank is for it is probably, from best to worst, one, three, two, five. This is so hard for me. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm, no, I'd agree with that. I, I'm so hard for me because I'm... Too... Oh, it's one, two, three, four. No, I, can't, yeah, sorry, yeah, four. I can't call it between Shield Hero and ReZero. Because season mm. one, Shield Hero wins. You've always been more of a ReZero. You, before, you yeah. bitch. Why is it slime in the running? Because there's not enough blonde women in it. Fuck off. Fuck off. Hey, Shion's in it. That should be <laughs> enough. Sorry, yeah. 
Moving swiftly on. Can we all just agree on Digimon? Yeah, let's all agree yeah. on Digimon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine. I have not seen Digimon. You'll have to agree anyway. You've got no yes. choice. Shit. <laughs> well, uh, I, 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 it's on Crunchyroll. Okay. Oh I am, my I'm, I'm, life. Okay. I liked Ghost Game. Is that enough? Yeah, yes. yeah it's yes, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Ghost Game has such a bad ending. What uh, is... Yeah, it, it basically just stopped. Uh, yeah. There was no plot resolution at all. We could have... What? Nah. Because it, it, it went for like 70 episodes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. At least it didn't have the ending of Digimon Season 2. At least yeah. it didn't have Digimon Adventure. The reboot. Yep. But which, oh. uh, which everyone first was Digimon Adventure colon. <laughs> Just to as if it's something, something you cut out. No, because it's got a colon in the title. Oh. No, so I, everyone points out as being the big difference. I call it um, Digimon Adventure Appendix. Mm. As in, it probably has some use, but you might as well cut it out. Yeah. I. Or we'll just call it Digimon Adventure. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. I like that one, Digimon Adventure. <laughs> no, but uh, from, from a story point uh, telling, Digimon Tamers is the pinnacle. Just from uh, the storytelling, the writing, characters. The original adventure is great for the nostalgia, but it has aged a bit poorly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel it's something I would have liked when I was a kid, mm. but I watched it like a couple of years ago for the first time. I was just like. I- uh, I, I still. Wait, I want to like this more. Mm. I still think the peak of the show is the Myos Monarch. Yeah, don't c- it's season one. No, clearly the um, clearly the peak was a Pokemon. Okay, here's one for you. Well, so, that's a peak in the dub, not the song. Yeah, in the dub. To go back to to go back to um, uh, slime, Elliot. What would you say is the peak moment? I'm not going to say season, but the peak moment of slime at this point in time. Currently, Rimuru becoming a demon lord. I'd mm. say that was. Like that, mo- the build up to that moment and that moment was what made season two, part one, the peak for it for me at the minute. I would say, um, either that or Rimuru versus Ifrit was a I, really good fight. I think it was yeah. Rimuru getting his revenge for all the lives taken in Tempest. That's the peak moment for me. That's essentially what, yeah, that's essentially what being de- what the Demon Lord was. So. Yeah, I'd say it is the peak moment of that yeah. storyline. So. Um, I think that's all we got on this one. I think we all really liked the slime movie, but we uh, well, 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 well I, I also had a problem with the ending. The end. Oh, so. Well, the, 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 they said a rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, what yeah. do you What do you mean by that? By uh, 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 well, are we saying spoilers for slime? I yeah, think yeah. we've already been. We've already well spoiled it. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so it's about where hero gives his uh, life to the princess. The princess gives it back to him. She dies and goes back to life. It's basically what Kylo Ren and Rey did. Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I didn't mind that because I think that's just that's the kind of show it is. Mm. As, it I, as I said, it's yeah. a show where everything ends up happy in the end, and everything it, goes up happy. It, well, it, I, I, yeah. I, I, apart from the Ogre's home village. Yeah, well, yeah that's the. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. these onies are fine. So it, let, yeah, it, so, it did feel as if they were building up a tragedy only to sort of yeah, like, just I, sort of yeah. rob it. Of I mean, I f- my thought is, if it was anything else, I wouldn't mind it. But because this is what kind of what the point of slime, yeah, I, I yeah, felt yeah, like it. Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah, like it was alright. So let's go for then. Okay, so I think we need we need to wrap this one up. So yep. we're taking June off from all podcasts because of Reese's time off. So we're all yep. decided to take some time off. Yeah. As well, at the same time. This, bitch, this, this dick's going to hang out with Mickey. Yeah. We're going to FaceTime oh, oh, him. We're going to FaceTime oh, him from the sauna that the three of us will be in, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Wait, that's it? another problem with the Golden Cowboy movie. No Otter Meat! I know, soon! No Sauna! No, uh, Otter Meat was in it. Oh, no Sauna, then. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. No Saunas. Yeah. Anyway, stop recording. We'll get on the case of that one. Um, <laughs> to l- the sauna. To, uh, Wait, to the bathroom. So we're going to talk. So on July the 5th, Day after the UK, UK election. general election. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, uh, so, in other words, we'll either be incredibly happy or we'll be living out of Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I mean, arguably, June of, uh, July the 5th is a more important decision because we're going to be talking about anime of the season. Yeah, so, yes, of course. Yes. So, disregard the UK election results. Yeah. So, which, Good evening, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> which, so, which, Very nice of you, of, which, of you to join us. Quick question. <laughs> Favourite waifu? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, no. Favourite Isakai. <laughs> You have three seconds. Oh no! It better be slime. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to speculate on what Sunak's favourite. Um, um, so I, I reckon I, Starmer I, is definitely Rezero. I, annoyingly, constantly sorry. coming back just for, despite the fact that he keeps dying. Well, uh, anno- Boris Johnson is Rezero of a healer. I, I did yeah. hear Rishi Sunak uh, express uh, three opinions that I actually agreed with. 
Um, he said he prefers the... I know, I know! He said he prefers the original trilogy of Star Wars. Um, he said episode five is his favourite, and he likes the second part of Half of Revenge of the Sith. Who told him that? Apparently this it was me. voicing his own opinions. <laughs> the um, voice in his ear. Yeah, I, I thought it was really yeah, him, yeah. Who's a, I My, fav- I don't know my favourite's Rogue One. Downing, St- Downing Street is hiring nerd consultants. Why am we applying? <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, so, um, so we'll see. Will we have um, Starmer as prime minister and Kaiju number eight standing at a season at the same time? Oh, I mean, oh god, just god. Just imagine reset. Look, look, Rishi. I don't care what you say. We need to build a Death Star. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's talk. Uh, oh, 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 all I'm saying is that Aldron was fine. So <laughs> no, it was completely excusable. Yeah. So, there were terrorists <laughs> on Alderaan. <laughs> But uh, uh, let's face it, Bone of Aldron, it reduced the job rate to zero. <laughs> it's true, employment yeah. rate. Yeah, true. Am I going to have to delete this joke? Or I, I don't know. Know. No, no, it's fine. Leave it yeah. in. Yeah, because it, it's not all science we've been making that joke for decades now. Yeah. So let's talk. Uh, so, uh, so July the 5th, we're back with the animated season. Yes. Um, July the 12th is the professional and professional for. Um, we're coming back, we've already mentioned that one, but it's yeah. going to also contain the who's won the not E3. Mm-hmm. Which PlayStation's not likely to win now after last night. Nope. No idea uh, what happened. Uh, I'll tell you afterwards. And I mean, strangely enough, it was the best of the three we had, apparently. Supposedly. Apparently. Uh, and um, we are also going to uh, be. And then we're back on. Hang on a second. Let's see if Cal can work out a calendar. Uh, Jul- uh, so there's going to be two in July to make up for the fact we're not in June. So July yeah. the 5th, we're back with the animated season. And then it's going to be July the 26th. But yeah, after we that. head off to Bucken. Hey, yeah. uh, for uh, the net for the net for uh, that one, and uh, that one's going to be the twenty uh, anime that came out in nine, 1999 that's celebrating their twenty fifth anniversary. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so we'll, we'll need to allocate those. After. We've you got, got one piece. I've got one piece. Yes. Ah, excellent. Cool. Uh, I, I'm going to say we only talk about the East Blue Arc, just to make yeah, it more that's, fair. Yeah, that's valid. Yeah, that's understandable. Plus, uh, plus, uh, what will we really need to keep it low I'm, on that yes. one? I went with the. Uh, GTO, Mon- great teacher. Oh, oh, Onizuka, yeah, that's meant to be really me, good. Too. Me and Reese haven't picked yet. I'll probably just go with uh, the, the original Digimon, so I can give it to Elliot. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it the original? Uh, yeah, uh, 1999. Yeah. Oh. 1999. Oh, can we do Jojo Pop 4? Here's our summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when the manga came out, right? Can I talk? No, like, I guess, can I talk about Yakuza Like a Dragon? Because the game. No, wait, the, no, wait, the game starts off in 2000, never mind. Hang on a second, I'm going to find mine That's yeah. You'll wa- you're, you're watch me do things in real time. Jeez. Hang on a second. I see how slowly he goes. Or his crippling arthritis. Oh, funny. You're all... Oh yeah, the original, oh, yeah, the original Hunter x Hunter series okay. came out in 99. Okay. Oh, the OVA? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, was it an OVA? I think it was, was, a, I think it was, it was an original like... series. Like, I think it was 60 episodes. I'd be interested if you were to do... Oh no, you, you've already... I've already picked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. and I, don't, I don't think the original Hunter x Hunter... You guys are all taking all the stuff I've actually really? watched. <laughs> oh, Christ me, you guys... 1999... Are... Apparently, uh... Oh, there you go. Or is it Gundam, Cal? I'm I'm close to picking uh, Card Captor Sakura at this point. <laughs> so uh, part uh, part four was serialized ninety two to ninety five, in a weekly Shonen Jump. Uh, like, where did part five come out then? Uh, I feel like it, it was late nineties. Um, when Pet Shop of Horrors came out, there, yeah. I'll uh, figure it out later. Yes, because we're, really, we're really we're really ninety nine. We do part five then. <laughs> Oh, true. Uh, <laughs> moving yeah, release. So we're back. We'll be back on July the fifth. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.